welcome to another video and another edition of Beverly Says and today I'm coming to you with a January haul. The sales were so good. I got so much stuff. Well actually I didn't actually, I think I was quite good. I just got some investment pieces more than anything. I think a bulk of my shopping I did in Zara and then a few other places but I will dive in and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I got were these rings I don't know if you can see they're like little like dainty above the finger rings and I got this off Etsy I am obsessed with Etsy right now you can get such amazing stuff for like really cheap I got these I got a set of four for eight quid I think and the woman was so nice I'm gonna link her shop below her name's Adriana she's based out in um, California and I got them out I got them, sorry, before Christmas and they just didn't show up and I was like, where's my stuff? She was so nice, sent one out and kept emailing me and asking me if I got them. So I'm definitely gonna link her shop below because she's got some really pretty stuff and it's also reasonable and you get free international shipping, which is amazing. So yeah, eight quid and then was so cute. And then I shopped on H&M online and I've never done it before, but I don't know if you guys have either, but their system is so weird, like you have to, you don't get to pay for things straight away. You have to be invoiced and then you can pay towards the end of the month. It is a good in some ways, but it's not good for me because basically all the money that I had to buy the clothes I've spent. So yeah, that's another story anyway. So back to the clothes. So I got this jumper, which is just a cute kind of everyday jumper. I got a new job, so I've started um, out and I just thought I needed some new clothes that just were quite cute and it's a really relaxed office and everyone's really lovely so I thought this would be lovely and this was only five pounds and it's got like a coating on it which is obviously you can see which is neon pink and I just thought it was such a bargain so why not and then I got a leather skirt which oh this is the bargain of the century because I've been looking for a leather skirt for absolutely ages but I have a massive butt and so it's like it's either too tight because you know how leather is never forgiving it's either too tight and makes me look massive or it just doesn't fit well but this has got a tiny bit of give just a little bit of give which kind of fits quite nicely on me and um this was four pounds i just so excited and i got this in a size 14 so yeah it's quite nice and then i got this a-line skirt from H&M again and it's not really something I would have normally picked up but I thought it's really sweet and because I've got to see a lot of clients and go to a lot of road shows and I'll be out of the office quite a bit I thought this would be quite nice just to as a kind of it still has a bit of personality but it's still nice enough with tights to to be dressy so I thought this was nice and this was again four pounds and then I got this blush kind of rose um, blazer, tuxedo blazer, and this was £20 and I thought this was really good. It looks awful on the hanger, but it fits really well and I'm very surprised because normally H&M blazers don't fit very well and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, but I went for it and I'm, I'm happy to be honest. And it's got like a satin, satin epaulettes with dark detailing down the um, front. And it's got a really hideous button, which I'm going to change anyway, but for £20, I thought it was lovely and you couldn't really go wrong, so that was cute. I think, oh, no. This was my star buy from H&M. I love these. They are so cute. They weren't on sale, but they are only £30, and I thought that's such a bargain. They're such ladylike shoes, and they're, they're so kind of on trend at the moment. I hate saying on trend, but it is what it is. And they are just a nice white kind of lady sandal with this coral elastic um, sandal, like, not sandal, sorry, um, what do you call it? Strap? <laughs> yeah, strap around the top. And yeah, it's just a cute shoe for like if you've got a dinner date or something just nice and not too dressy. But again, you can dress these up to be honest. If you just had a nice outfit, this would look lovely with it. And then, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys the grip underlay, which oh, I just think is so cute. 
so yeah I got those for 30 quid and I'm, they're new season and they come in other colours as well so I'm sure you can still pick them up in the store and then I went to Zara and I love this so I'll, I'll show you the jacket first and then I'll show you what else I did because I just decided to be naughty but I got this and long story I wanted it for ages it was like 110 pounds didn't have that kind of money and I said I'd wait for the sale sale came when it's like 70 quid and I was like I love it but I just don't know if I could spend 70 quid right now and then went back the other day and it was 40 pounds so I was like I'm just gonna get it I can't wait any longer however I've just been I've just spoken to my friend and she said that they've had further reductions so if you can see this or you find this it might might, might even be cheaper so just try it out really um again it's got the lovely satin applets and then it's a really lovely velvet material and the one thing i'd say about zara jackets is that they're a really good investment like they're not too expensive they're not your reese and your jigsaw and your whistles and normally i like to invest in kind of my staple pieces there but you know now i've started a new job and i'm really kind of trying to forge my own career i can't really afford those shops anymore so zara's been a really nice substitute for me and um yeah it's just great detail and there's been really good attention to like the again detail and lining like i don't know if you can see the lining but it's got this lovely kind of brocade effect and it's just it just it looks like it's been made really well and it's really sturdy so yeah 40 pounds i thought it was a great bargain and um you guys will get to know i love things to match i'm really sad but i love matchy matchy things some people don't i love it um so i got the velvet shorts to go with it i just thought they'd be so cute in the like kind of daytime or no sorry evening kind of event that's a little bit quirky and it doesn't look like something that you would just kind of throw together and it's just it's so classic yet it's got a nice twist to it because of the velvet material so i thought that was cute and i got those were 20 pounds so the whole suit was 60 which isn't too bad to be honest i think it was quite good and then again <clears throat> sorry oh i'm losing my voice here again from zara i got this little lady which i love oh she's just too cute this was only 30 quid and i just thought you know when you're like shopping or you're out and you need to go somewhere this is not a winter coat the kind of weather that we've been having do not leave your house in this please don't very silly but um for just like going in a car or like to a shopping event or something or you're going out with your friends this is cute and it's got this lovely kind of brocade effect again well it's not an effect it's actually brocade and with the lovely gold detail and just a normal kind of jersey style um collar and then a gold zip as well so yeah that was cute and that was 30 pounds and then the last thing i got from zara was this jumper and again i really wanted this for ages but it was like 40 quid and i just said it's a little bit pricey i don't i don't want to pay that kind of money for something with leather paneling on it and it's not real leather so i waited and i ended up getting it for 20 pounds so this is cute and the knit is not too warm you'd have to wear something under it to be honest because it's quite sheer i don't know if you can see how sheer that is but yeah so definitely wear something under it but it if, if again if it's there i think it's a really nice investment piece it's something you could wear quite a bit you don't necessarily have to just it's not it's not going to date basically i don't think it will date so yeah thought it was a good investment and then i have a rude hat somewhere oh yeah here it is so i'm not a big music fan to be honest but i'm really enjoying what's his name asap rocky i just ugh, i think he's cute to be honest but um, I saw him wearing this and like a true sheep, I went to go and find it because I thought it was cute and I thought it was really rude and stupid and half of the time I feel like telling people to just calm back down because it's just not necessary to be that angry. So yeah, I got that and it was only a fiver, just cute, something to wear. Yeah, so off eBay, I'll find the link and I'll put it down below in case if anybody wants it. So yeah. And then the last place I hit, hit up, because I'm going to be gross and say things like that was river island and sorry it's really wrinkled because basically don't spray perfume in silk because it will stain put your perfume on first and then put on whatever silk garment that you want to put on but um yeah I, I made that mistake so i had to wash it but this is a silk kind of 
lime green basic blouse and again I just got this for work purposes I just thought it was really lovely um I'd been after a shirt that color this color sorry for a while and then I found it and it was like 14 quid and it was silk so I just thought why not so yeah that's quite cute and last thing is this I just thought it was quite funny and quite cute I like cats so actually that's a lie I don't like cats at all no I don't like cats um yeah so I got this and it's got lovely kind of studded detail on the co collar there and then a pyramid button kind of stud button on the top but the rest are just normal but they're they're covered again by a layer of um material so that's fine and yeah it's just got little cats on it little cats dancing cats so yeah and that was 15 pounds so yeah and yeah that is everything i didn't it's not a massive haul i think i just got a lot more kind of bits that i thought i could be quite be quite transitional and I could use throughout kind of me going out and going to work and going to any work events because I do have a lot of events to go to now and yeah I just thought they were quite nice but um for my next video I just wanted to let you guys know and give you a heads up I've taken my hair out of the hair extensions and I've just put some clip-ins in but I'm gonna start doing some information and just some tutorials and videos about my hair journey which I'll explain a lot more about but I just want to give you guys a heads up and that will be next and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Bye.